Hello, Bolt Hud Steve. Hello, Elizabeth Mooncatcher. Hello to you at home. Prodigy cards are here. That's right. Prodigy math cards are now available. Um, uh, they are something that I've been working on creating for quite some time. Really excited to go ahead and show these off. Um, they are available currently on my uh, Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm setting up an Etsy, which will hopefully make it a little easier for uh, your parents to go ahead and purchase my uh, reading sources if you are interested. Um, but I do want to show you how to go ahead and assemble these cards so let's go ahead and get started and uh, take a look at these so first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to print out the file and um, uh, it shouldn't take that much printing in color is of course what you want to do the backs of the cards I used um, the uh, blue backs because you can't see through that for normal standard paper now um, uh, for these you can cut multiple pieces at one time if you have a good paper cutter and if your uh, printer prints to this to the center mine prints a little lopsided the files are centered um, but it prints a little lopsided so we went ahead and cut it out neither uh, fluffy princess productions or myself are great at using um, the uh, the paper slicer so we did cut these out by hand once you have them cut out just or just along the edges so that the uh, fronts and the backs match it's time to glue and uh, as you glue just put a little bit on it um, if you have a really nice new glue stick uh, that might actually cut down on any bulkiness between the cards we didn't have a problem once we ran ours through the laminator though so um, just a little bit of glue to hold them together together and um, make sure that the sides are correct that you have the um, the pause face up on the cards if you want them to be sort of street legal you know if you want them to be sort of how how the uh, prodigy card would be imagined it's up to you though then it's time to cut them out especially if you want to have a larger edge around for classroom uh, I use I would suggest doing this manner although it is a little bit slower um, and uh, you can you can go ahead and decide whether you want to laminate the whole thing and cut it out that, that works for some people um, it hasn't been my experience with laminators that that does the best after that it is time Time to laminate which is uh probably the most exciting now i wanted a larger edge around so i did spread mine out as you can see as they come out of the laminator um really really fun uh laminators are hot ask your parents talk to them uh, also with scissors make sure that you are um, letting your parents know you're using them and they've gone all through they've gone over all of the safety issues with that then it's time to cut them out now if you're using them in the classroom then make sure you round the corners um we did take care of that after so we now have round corners um if you want to go ahead and cut and assemble out the die too, this gives you some elemental boosts that you can use. Um, uh, so cutting it out and uh, assembling it is pretty good. It fits a standard die. Um, so if you have the uh, 0 0.6 inch die, um, it's gonna wrap right around it just like this. So hopefully that's very useful for you. We love playing with ours. And um, then once that is all taken care of, you are going to have a fantastic set of these cards. I hope this is useful. Be sure to check it out. This is the first series. We're going to have more series coming out. I will let you know um, when those come out. Um, if you do this project, I hope you enjoy them. I think these turned out absolutely awesome. Please be sure to let your teachers know that if you were using some of these games in class, that would be motivating. It also comes with uh, instructions on how to play for different levels and in different ways. So um, enjoy these, and I hope that they put a, as, as large a smile on your face as they have been putting on mine. Um, I appreciate it. Take care. Keep on prodiging on. Very, very soon we are going to be having that update, um, the Dragon Isle update. Cannot wait to get more info about that. Be sure to like, be sure to sub so you are aware of when that occurs. Have a good one all. Bye-bye.